got mail. All right, guys. Welcome to another segment of Mail Thing Thursday. Um, I got two two things in the mail today. Um, one is from Rob McEwen, which is Robbie Mack. And I'm going to be very careful opening this one because he said he might add some of that pretty stuff in here. So we're going to... Here, let me, let me turn on the overhead camera so y'all can watch this and be my witnesses. So we're going to do this really easy here. I just lost lighting. Hold on one second. Let me see what we got here going on. There we go. All right. We'll turn them back on. Alexa was kind of slow in my last command to turn them off. Or the power's flashing. Okay. This is from Rob McEwen. This is protopasta, just enough for a gnome. What else is this? What is all this? I don't know what all this is. It's got a chain. I don't know what all that's for. It's got a Phillips head screwdriver bit in it. It's got some mag uh, lots of magnets. I don't know what these are for. What it, what all this is for? Project maybe? Dang nice magnets. Very very nice magnets. Thank you, Robbie Mac. That's friggin' awesome. I don't know what it's for, but we'll figure it out. Let me let me see if there's anything in here. I don't know if there is or not. It was from Rob, so it's from his house. He did not. He did not put anything in here. Robert McEwen. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the right one. That's Robbie Mac. Click and chip. So it's sent with a little bit of protopasta. A bunch of magnets. A screwdriver tip. I don't know. <laughs> Are you just emptying out your junk drawer? That, that's not a Phillips. That's a, that's a torch of some kind. And it looks used. And then there's a... There, that's balls. That's 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 a bunch of bunch of little bitty balls. See here on the end of the thing. Can you see that? I don't know what that is. No note. No nothing. Of course, it's Robbie Mac. So of course we don't have any of that. So now we're going to see if I can get this other one up here because the other one. And thank you, Robbie Mac. I, I especially for the pneumatic fittings because I don't have any. And I won't be able to buy any until until I get my first paycheck from my new job. And you know that. And thank you very much for the two of those. And some kind of chain. A, a little chain pendant, I think, is on there. This next one uh, I got from VHL Worldwide. And uh, you look right there. It You can't read it. It says Prusa on it. So it is from Prusa. And we got all this black plastic. As you can tell, I haven't opened it. It just came today. Matter of fact, if you were on my country time, I talked about it. Because DHL left the uh, thing that I had to sign on the door. I figured they would want that since it had my signature on it. But maybe not. Dang, boy, they, they wrap this in some plastic. You know they do. To ship worldwide, this stuff has got to be tough. And it is. Very, very tough. All right. So, as you can see, you probably saw that already. This. Oh, let's cut some more black plastic. About time for a new razor knife. This one's about had it. Lord have mercy, that's tough stuff. All right, let's take this off of here. Maybe. Maybe. Ah, oh, there we go. All right. Lots of black plastic. This, let me, let me see if I can turn this camera. It's probably upside down to y'all, but so be it. Back out just a little bit. There we go. That better? Yeah, it's a little better. Okay. There. There. All right. So I won't even be able to see this if I do this this way. We're gonna do it anyway. Let you. Okay. Whoa. There's my favorite things I don't like. <laughs> I'm not a hair bow person, and you know that. 
there's a bag of Haribo. We have a bag of MK 2.51. Here is the extruder. That's bag two. Bag three is, well, it don't say three. This looks like mm, connectors, connectors, and more connectors. New power wires. Okay. Then we have some wrap. Hold on. Let me get the let me get this stuff out of here. Well, I guess I can go ahead and take this out, right? This is just a roll of black PETG. It's not even okay. I see. All right. So we have all of this. New pin to probe. Um, should be there is a filament sensor here. So there's that. The 3D printing handbook, of course. And I'm hoping that somewhere in there is some instructions. And then you know, we got some three millimeter filament, which I will tell y'all, just for your edification, three millimeter filament here where I live with the humidity doesn't help. Look, dang, doing all that and it's all in the way doesn't help really doesn't do any good because after about a month of being like in my living room or wherever it just breaks the humidity gets to it and it gets brittle and it breaks there is the mark 52 a 12 volt version but here is what i've been waiting on this is why i did not get mine early why i haven't opted to get it early because I wanted this. This. Hey, come on. This is the new, new powder coated spring steel sheets. Brand new. This is the release version, the one I have for my other Mark. 52 is the pre-release version but I do want to see because it looks a little different than my other one got it over there and we'll go over that in just a second that perfect fit perfect fit on the bed how about that let's, let's do that let me let me put these back in here because I can use this on my Prusa now on my mark 3 let's put all this stuff back in here let me cut off the overhead well I'll leave it on because I need it. Take this and the PETG. Uh, that won't be the color that I'm going to print mine in. So I'm going to set that right down here. Set this sheet right here. Let's close up this box so that I can show you what I wanted to show you. And I know this is a mail thing and not a comparison, but we're going to compare during the mail thing because I've got it out and I'm recording, so I might as well. It'll just be a little bit longer than a mail thing, and you can make up your mind. You know what? Never mind. I'll make it a different video where we compare these two. So watch for that video. We're going to compare the two sheets. Let me cut the overhead off. Thank you, Robbie Mack, for the parts. Thank you, Joseph Prusa, for all you do for printing, um, the printing world, I would say. Um, the innovations and stuff that you bring forward, the research and development you do. That's why I bought my Mark III, was to help pay for that. But thank y'all for the mail. We will compare these two sheets, and uh, we'll see you on the next segment of Mail Thing Thursday. All right, well, this is the first segment of Mail Thing Thursday, and... I got home with this package in the mail today. I don't know. It says buy caps and hats on Amazon. So, I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what this is. I really don't know. I don't know who it's from or anything else. I just know what it says. So, I am going to open it up and see what she says. I got to be careful. I don't want to bust it open too bad. All right, so got an air packet. Got a little thing here to buy hats and caps. And 
Got a sticker that says U.S. Army. Enough said. Like that. Like that. Like that. Dude. Dude, that's freaking awesome right there, man. I'm going to tell you right now, that's awesome. And I'm going to look and see if I can see who it's from, but I don't see, I don't see anything yet. But, uh, look at that. Army veteran. I like that. That is freaking sweet right there. I love that. I'll have to take it in, but, oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll wear this one for sure. Matter of fact, I'll probably wear it to work tomorrow. Tomorrow being Friday. Yes, sir. I like that. Can't wear it during my show tonight or before next Thursday. But I can definitely do that, and I have no idea who this was from. There's not a gift receipt. There's not a anything. Dadgummit, people. Y'all y'all tell me who sends these so I can do a good dadgum thank you. Y'all are awesome. Whoever sent that, and you can tell me privately if you don't want other people to know, then just tell me privately, and, and I'll, I'll thank you privately. Um, but thank you. Thank you very much. That That's... I got you. But that's that's it for this segment. That's all I got. Thank you, Country Club. We'll see you in a second. All right, guys. It's time for another Mail Thing Thursday segment. And I have a box from Ken. Ken Cobb. And he said he was going to send it to me. And it got here. So we're going to open it up. I, I know what it is already. We're not, you know, it's not going to be a surprise. It would be a surprise if I can get it in the box. Because he's got it taped 45 ways to Sunday, which is fine. It's no big deal. Try to figure out how to open it. Kind of weird. Kind of weird, but we'll get her. All right. Let's see what we got here. I don't know how this is supposed to open. I really don't. Looking at each end of it. Yeah, it opens in the middle, I guess, like everything else. Let me uh, let me just rip it that way then. We'll just try it the old-fashioned way. Why not? Shouldn't have to be careful with it, but we'll see. And this is this is going to be something I'm going to test out. I'm going to do a comparison of, but I will tell you. Looks pretty BA right now. This is a powder coated spring steel sheet. It is thinner and it is not as flat as the ones from Prusa. But the powder coating on it looks fantastic. I don't know if you can see that. But Ken does this powder coating himself at home or in his shop or whatever. But I'm going to check the fit and uh, form of this. And we're going to run some tests on it. I'm going to have to move a printer out of here into the living room. Bring my Mark III back in here. Because this is cut for the Mark III. Let's, let's just do a real quick comparison. Real quick. Because I just got a brand new one. Brand new. From Prusa. This is their production model. I have a pre-release and I have a production. The production model now comes with a cut out instead of the two V notches. But we're gonna we're gonna check this out and see. The size is almost identical. Almost identical. Um, now his is only a one-sided coating, not a two. There's is two, and theirs is absolutely thicker than his. Um, not sure. I don't have my calipers in here. But theirs is absolutely thicker than his. But this is from Ken Cobb. You see him on the on the screen. Sometimes Ken, he don't stay very long, but he sent this to me to beta test, and we are going to do just that. We are going to put it on there, and we are going to print on this sheet. I'll have to recalibrate my recalibrate my printer because this is thinner than what I'm using now, and so we'll do that. We will recalibrate the Z height and let it let it run through its calibration, and. But thank you, Ken. I will be testing this, and at a later date, I will have Ken on my interview show, and we will discuss his sheet at that time. But for now, that's the end of this segment of Mail Thing Thursday. I'll see you in a bit. All right, well, that's another Mail Thing, and other than saying this is the first segment when it was the second segment, I think it did worked out pretty good. Country Club still rocks. 
Y'all are awesome. And if you want to send me mail, the link's below. You want to support the channel, you like what you see, all that stuff. All the links are below. I did fix my Amazon affiliate link, so if you want to click on that and go shopping, do it. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.